Hi, Niles Bollier. I'm from China Township, Michigan. With a mini Rex, what you'd like to see on a perfect mini Rex, you'd like to see a little short shoulder, small in depth, that actually comes out a little bit more on the width to a point at the hind quarter, rounds well. The point of the high point of the rabbit you'd like to have over top of the loin. With the mini Rex, the one of the big things is the fur. So you want a nice even fur that has just a little bit of spring back to it. That's roughly half inch long. That has good texture and density. Texture being what you can feel. Density being when you blow into it and you'll see if you don't see any skin, you've got good fibers per inch on the rabbit. Mini Rex are a breed that you need to have a lot of patience with. Some develop a little quicker than others. Have patience. When you start to breed, you're not going to have that perfect one. You're going to have subtleties that you're looking for. Don't be afraid to keep the best. Get rid of the rest. The different animals in your Duluths are going to have a little bit, typically a softer feel to them. So when you have the mini Rex that you feel is a perfect animal, you're going to have a little bit coarser. So there's a little bit of spring back to it, which is your, your coarse guard hairs giving you that resistance, that resilience. It's not going to be real soft. You're going to have, as you come back, you're going to have a little bit of resistance as you come back. So your whites have a little bit different feel to them completely from what your blacks would or your blues would. They have a different feel to them, yet they're all structured the same. The body's going to be the same, whether it's a black from, from a black to white, everything in between. Your bodies are all the same. Your feel of your rabbit, your texture, and your density are going to vary from, that we found anyway, from your Duluths, which are your, your lilacs and your chocolates, to what you have typically with your blacks, brokens, um, and your otters. Different feel to them. But you're still looking for the same general tendencies. Texture and density, Texture again is what you feel, density is what you're going to see. You want that density, when you blow into it, you do not want to see any skin. So you know you have a lot of fibers in the square. Your texture, a little bit of resilience, a little bit of springiness, and not really long. They're a fun breed. We enjoy them. They're a very docile breed. It's one of those things they're very good with a 4-H kid, youth, you, you grow to love them. Basically we started out in 4-H, uh, which I would recommend to absolutely any youth that's out there. Whether it's an animal or not, that gives you the basis to be able to move on to something else. We got into rabbits 4-H with the kids. Um, we've enjoyed the, the camaraderie and the people that we've seen. The places that we go, to me, there's there's no better people in the world than rabbit people. Just the the friends that we've made, um, in the animals, you'll absolutely fall in love with the animals, regardless of what breed it's going to be. You will absolutely fall in love with the youth. Find a mentor that you can trust. Find a mentor that you like, that has particular colors that you want. My particular feeling, stay with your tried and true, which to me would be your blacks, your brokens, your otters, and your whites. Because typically most of those can be bred together, so you're not going to get those kind of an off color or something that would be a dilute that you would need something specific as your lynx and your opals, where you need something specific. Start out basic. Beginning of the alphabet, typically the end of the alphabet. Get yourself established so you know what you're looking for and what you want. 
Once you're established, then you can move on to your different colors at that point.